Hey guys, it's Heather from Calva Plan. And in today's video, we are planning for the week of September 30th through October 6th. And we are gonna be using some stickers from Watercolor Boxes and Florals Volume 3. I'm really loving this book right now. Um, and like, honestly, <laughs> I would love to use my I Love Fall book, but it's sold out. And I have this weird thing where I feel bad using stickers that you guys can't buy anymore. And maybe I'm crazy. You guys tell me if I'm crazy. Um, I just feel like it's like a tease if I use them and you guys can't buy them. But I, there's also the layer of you guys bought them and might want me to show you how to use them <laughs> during the fall. So let me know in the comments what you think about that kind of like, I feel like I'm in like a catch 22 almost. Like I wanna show you guys how to use them, but I don't wanna tease the people with who don't have it and can't get it. So what do I do guys? What do I do? All right, I'm gonna put this little this week checklist over here and then I'm gonna use the this floral in the corner. I think this set is a really cute for kind of going into the true fall season. Um, I love the plum and then I love pink and orange paired together. So I think this is a really cute little set. And then I think I'm gonna do something that I haven't done in a while. But I think I'm gonna take these bouquets and I'm gonna lay them down the middle of my planner like this and I'm going to try and lay them to where they look right overlapping each other kind of try to situate them I haven't done this in a really long time but it's a, it creates a really fun look when you're done. And then this one, we're gonna kind of turn kind of like this. And then let's go to the next page. Because in this book, you get two of every page. Oh, that's that same sticker I just used. Okay, let's not use the same sticker side by side. Let's go to this one maybe. And then maybe we put this one like right here since it's gonna go off the page some. Okay, so when you when you do it this way, you then have to kind of peel it up and you need scissors. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna trim the bottom. And then I'm actually gonna save that because I'm probably gonna end up using it. And then I'm gonna trim the top. Okay. And then you take your scissors and you cut right down the middle so that you re-separate these two pages. Okay, and then you wanna take a disc punch and you line up your page I'm actually gonna turn it over so I can see the. I'm gonna line it up and I'm gonna punch it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. It feels like I've jammed it somehow. All right, line it up. It's stuck. Sometimes that happens when you punch stickers. So I'm gonna come in here. If your thing gets jammed, it is easily fixable. So you basically want to take some tweezers and this is the one that's jammed. You see how it's, it's stuck in here? So you, I'm gonna flip my tweezers over and I'm gonna push it out like that. And then I can pull this out. 
And then I don't really want to dump all of this right now. So I'm just going to put this back on before I flip it over. And then I'm going to flip it over. All right. So then I have my florals going down the middle. And I think that looks so cute. So now I'm going to go back to my boxes and I'm going to put a pink box here with this box coming out like this. We're going to do a top three. I love doing top threes. So then we're going to go one, two, three. And then let's do an orange one down here. And we're going to do another top three right here. One, two, three. And then let's do a checklist over here on Thursday. All right, before we fill in up more over here, I wanna be sure that I can get kind of the same look over here. So I'm gonna put a pink box here and then Let's do a top three over here. So we're going to go one, two, three. I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to go ahead and write top three in these boxes. Top three, one, two, three, and then top three, one, two, three, and then top three, one, two, three. Okay. Then let's put an orange checklist here on Sunday for like any errands that I need to get done this day. And then let's put this box here on Friday. And then I'm gonna put this orange box on Monday because I'll have, oh, I actually won't have a Patreon live that day. Let's actually put it over here then. And I tried to stick to the pink, orange, and the maroon. I didn't want to include the teal in this spread because I felt like it looks more autumn-y like this. Now, I do feel like I need to add some florals to the left side because we have this one down in the corner. So I'm going to put this one here on Tuesday. And then I think I might put this one down here on Monday. This is the same one that's over on the other corner. These two are the same. And then this one. I may put this here. I would love to have another box, but 
I would have to bring in the teal because I've already used. Okay, we're going to bring in the teal. I didn't want to, but we're going to. We're going to put a teal box here. We're going to put a teal checklist here. And then we're going to put this teal box here so we can still write on Monday. All right, I didn't want to bring in the teal, but it looks fine. I like it. All right, I love how this turned out. I love the florals on the center. I haven't done that in a long time. Um, and I think it turned out really cute. This is one of my favorite circle books. This is actually by the same artist who does, um, who did our Brilliant Blooms planner. So if you love that planner, then those florals are gonna look really cute in your Brilliant Blooms because it is the same artist. So I'm gonna pop these onto the discs and take a picture and then we will be done with this spread. If you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and happy planning.